Welcome to a tutorial video on Twine 2.6. In this video, I'm going to cover applying textiles in Sugarcube 2.36. So as authors, we often want to present our content in ways where particular names and terms and phrases appear visually distinct from other text surrounding us. We can do that using text styles. Within Sugarcube, there are a number of different special symbols we can use in connection with text to grant it those styles. Things like emphasis, stronger emphasis, and underline, among others that are also available within Sugarcube. In this particular video, I'm going to cover three of them and we're going to talk about how we use them. So go ahead, I'm going to move over to example one and we see text with emphasis. So this will grant italics or what is often called emphasis within text. So let's go ahead and start the story from here so we can see that. And notice it has emphasis or what's sometimes called italics depending on the font and font family. Now, if we want a stronger emphasis, what's sometimes called bold, then we can use right here two single quotation marks. It looks like two double quotation marks, but it's two single quotation marks, and that can be easy to get confused by. So let's go ahead and move the start over there, and now we're looking at bold or what's called strong emphasis. Notice it looks slightly different than emphasis, it's strong emphasis or sometimes called bold. So let's look at one third example. Starting the story over here with example three, we see text with underline. Here it's two underscores on each side of the text we want the text style to apply to. So if we go ahead and build from here, we will see this has underline. Now in each case, starting with emphasis, two forward slashes, and strong emphasis, two single quotation marks, this is continued over an underline with two underscores on each side of it. In each case, as I was about to say, notice it's two symbols on each side. So two slashes, two single quotation marks, or two underscores to give it emphasis, strong emphasis, or underline. Or in the case of emphasis or strong emphasis, you might sometimes call it italics or bold, depending again on the font family and font involved. So in this video, I've covered three different text styles we can apply within Sugarcube. Notice, as I mentioned in an earlier video, in the introduction to Sugarcube, that at least in this current version, it does not have toolbar access. So when we are adding these text styles, we are doing so by writing the symbols, not using a toolbar to apply it to text. This might require, if you're not familiar, then accessing the Sugarcube documentation and verifying, if you don't know it off the top of your head, what special symbols you might need to create the required effect. In any case, we can also, as I've showed, go to different passages, edit those passages, and then build and then play those corresponding stories to look at our changes as we move through our interactive stories using Sugarcube 2.36 in Twine 2.6. Thanks for watching.